important than the man who designed the set right. and the spacecraft and the okay. gun and the whole production design of the, of the entire show without whose concepts and brilliance and genius none of this would be happening today. And if I could remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't get my shot. Oh, I'm sorry. How about a big hand for Chuck Davis? Well, it all is initiated with a story conference with the producer, and uh, in this case, we were fortunate enough to have the cinematographer as well. And out of that came a style that we all agreed on. Tell us about the designing of the shuttlecraft. They were designed modularly so that we could have the capabilities of expanding them to make them larger. In one instance, one vehicle that is not shown here on stage is over 60 feet long. And that appears in the uh, first landing uh, at the refinery. That vehicle then, by removing modules, we could reduce it down to the size of this. And a further reduction, and it gets it down eventually to the size of the small fighters. Seven noses and tails. Five vehicles which we used and will use today. And uh, two of them we blew up. If we show people getting into one of these, and then we show one of these approaching the mothership, and it becomes a very minute dot compared to this huge craft, now we're starting to say something about the direction that we're trying to go with size. The miniatures are direct, direct replicas to these. Uh, so the miniatures are geared off of what we've established in full size. They're used in the motion control process that allows us to marry up the miniatures with our full-size sets. I don't think you can really do anything wrong because who's to say what the inside of this would really look like? And that's where some of the fun came in because in, in my department with the staff of people that we have, tremendously talented people, they all had their ideas and their input. And in many instances, I just became a funnel that all that ta talent poured into and I got to rechannel it where it best applied. They helped come up with the concepts of being able to make it longer or shorter and the ways to move it. They never have any problem <laughs> blowing them up. Right. Well, we... You give these guys a chance, they'll blow up dirt or anything. <laughs> We've blown one, one up twice. We blew it up and brought it back into our facility on stage here, stage two. Rebuilt it in four days and blew it up again. And actually, I think it looked better the well, second time. But it's not worth fixing again. <laughs> no. It's a fun project to put together. Enormously fun. We were higher than this, Bobby, weren't we? Yes, we were. Because my, I was up a couple of rungs and the, and the lens was right over my head. Okay, Richard, Jenny, on the ship, please. Where's that white line we had? The chalk mark has been picked up. No, that's not it. No, right there it is. No, it was right. No, that's right. Right around in here. That's, that's the mark right there. Where, here? No, over to your right. Left. Back, 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 back. Back, back up, back up, right. Jeannie, give me a number if, you, if you're on. I think the, I think the, the, the uh, bottom frame line was lower than that, John. It shouldn't be. Okay. If you want to have the guys in the catwalk. Um, yeah, that's what we had. I think so, too. Yeah, we're just on the set. Right. Okay. Okay, let's do it. You guys are on the catwalk. No spitting. Here we go. Please. Marker. And background. Action. Here. Here, all right. There, a little more. background who are passing the earth people might give them a couple of uh, glances and check them out a little bit it's the first time you're seeing them on board here same with the fellas upstairs take a looking down a little bit you know uh, trying to see what you can see checking out the earth females you're going to be here for a while Janie works next with uh, Jenny and uh, 
Richard, Richard, up on the top. Okay, and some background people in the background coming along the lane. We'll be up there, up on this way. Then we'll jump into the far end and uh, come across. Uh, I was watching all those rehearsals. Well, yeah, yeah, well, that's what I was. I was rehearsing them up there. So they'll uh, we'll come Jack? across them into the, into the main body of the show. Going to be at CBS. That was the piece that we were going to shoot at CBS, and we'll do it here. Okay. 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 Jack. Well, it's a shadow recorder. Wow. I'm tight on Jenny Amway, yeah. right into here. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy here, I'm on a 100 millimeter, which is full figure, a little more than full figure, walking down to uh, Sharon and Cynthia at the far end. Full figure, Jimmy, don't do anything repulsive. Uh, and then put, put, we'll put all the plate shots at the end, and then we'll play musical spacecraft and juggle it around at the very end. Which one On Richard? Oh, he's going to go soon, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 I've got, well, I got this shot and one more, and we'll be okay. We okay. should be able to get him out by noon. That's okay. That's fine. So I can see. One second. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, ready, Jimmy, and action! Well, uh, V is a story about many things at once. It's the, the story of the takeover of the Earth from... Uh, uh, another planet, people from another planet, but it's also the story of how people respond uh, during uh, wartime. Uh, some people won't allow their neighbors any space uh, for hiding, and uh, other people say, yes, you can come into my house, I'll protect you, because all men are my brothers. Uh, other people bury their heads in the sand, and uh, so it's a story about, uh, it's a story, it's an adventure story. It's a, it's a mystery and it's, a, it's an adventure, but it also touches on the way human behavior works. Well, I think there, there are some of us who, who look at obstacles as insurmountable, and there are some of us who look at obstacles as challenges to overcome and opportunities to better ourselves and to live up to our own promise as human beings. The guy that I'm playing is Mike Donovan. He's a person that tries his best to live up to the promise of being a human being. He feels a sense of responsibility toward other people, so he doesn't lie down under the yoke when the earth is being taken over. He fights back. He becomes uh, the, the strong arm of the resistance. He does what the man on the other side of this lens does in real life. He's a, a photographer, uh, a news cameraman is what he is, and that allows him access into the alien craft and also gives him a nice uh, standpoint to view all of humanity. Um, uh, very often, uh, newsmen are allowed to go places that the rest of us civilians aren't able to go, and so it provides a good format for this guy to get in where the bad guys are and see what they're doing. I, ha I had to do some very strenuous uh, uh, special preparation for this. I had to keep down the bubble of enthusiasm and joy so that when I got on the set I looked like a professional and wasn't giggling in front of the cameras all the time. And uh, the second thing that I had to do was um, our producer, Chuck Bowman, was uh, uh, very kind in uh, establishing liaisons between myself and real news photographers and real news teams. And in that way I was able to assimilate uh, some of the real aspects of the heroism of these people's professions. Uh, it, it's, I don't think that, that any of us know exactly what kind of heroes are in different trades in our society, but I think some of the greatest heroes that exist are in the news profession, those people that bring us uh, tapes from uh, destruction in El Salvador and people that bring us tapes of the Vietnam crisis and, and uh, things like that. These are, these are people that lay their lives on the lines so that humanity can be informed as to what it's doing and how to rectify situations that it doesn't like. It's a nice thing being an actor because when you portray a fellow that has such strong characteristics as Donovan does in V, they begin to rub off on me, Mark Singer. And so I begin to have some of those same traits and learn from this show. And, and hopefully the good, good qualities of our heroes in this, in this production of V will also have a positive effect on the audience that watches us. V presents a very wonderful opportunity for an actor because we're limited as actors only by the scope of our imagination, which means that as far as we can imagine the universe is as far as we can go with our imaginations. So in V, sometimes we're working with actual people and sometimes we're working with optical effects. And when we're working with optical effects on V, it allows the actor the opportunity to let his imagination run rampant. And uh, 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 basically all I can tell you is that, is that when it comes to dealing with special effects you're looking at a spaceship that isn't in fact there if you've been given a description of what is there the excitement of what the audience is going to see generally fills that imaginative gap for you this is a best work converter 
it's your, your best acting goes in here and comes down these little tubes, and goes around the other side, comes out as close-ups, which drop on the editing room floor. And then on out, and then, I'll make, and then I'll start my move. Or should I come back to here again? I guess it's best to do it just. I think you just slide back that way. That's what I think I do. Why don't you start right here and walk that way? Keep going, another 20 feet. Come on. Coming through. Excuse me. Anytime. Well, we're kind of the casino. Did you see the guys down here? I did. But the idea being that okay, and then he goes as uh, as we said, just, just as the guys are passed, then uh, then he goes. How's your uh, zoom? Is that okay? Do you believe in this? It's yeah. Sure, it's Zion was it? Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's rehearse it one more time. Watch well, your toes. Okay. Pretty well in there, in the sidelines. But it, it doesn't matter to me. Does that work okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but okay. I just want to make sure that we it all comes to that we see them, and we see you see them, and we see you duck yeah. back. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. What? Ready, Rick? Close the door. I hope so. Harder. And background. Doors. Pan, Ricky. Tommy. starting to take the, the uh, chemical out, take the shot and the inch, like you said, inch back to get a better yeah. angle. Okay. Yes, and feel the wind. And that, well, now I'm out of the line. Oh, here, okay. Gotcha. When you try to open it, try to open it on the right-hand side so it doesn't look like you know it's going to open on the left. You know what I mean? What I mean? Okay. The wind right here. From San Diego at 2150, 2200. Okay, let's go. See Turning. You mean Barker? And action! Background. Come up. Got it. Feel the air. Lean back a little bit. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Print that. Let's do one more. Who sent that background person through? <laughs> Dragging this to bring this stuff all the way up here to dump it out in the atmosphere. What a waste of time bringing all these chemicals up here and dumping them out. And ducking through the cage. All right, how fast was the zoom? It was about one, two, three, four. Right, okay, good. Print it. Let's go around, guys. It'll be contained within chirogenic tanks. Cryo. Uh, cryo? Yeah. Cryogenic tanks, cryogenic. For maximum efficiency in storage. Oh, get that right. Well, now you also mentioned living quarters for the crew. How many are there on each ship? Yeah, it varies. Richard, Richard, come on in. Can we talk to some of them? Oh, you will, Christine. Right now? Do again. It's too hot. It's got to go around to our crew right here. It's got to back right and we'll go back in your face. Okay. Yeah, there you are. Doug, how's that? Uh, one more. It's too high. Four. Okay. It's, it's for three to three D. Okay. So the idea of the curve, which is great, because it follows the curve of the mother ship, right. and all of that. It just reflects all that. Yeah, but now, but can we get them so that they're bigger in the foreground, like they are here? So that when, if, if he comes in, then... And it's dark, and we all, all we see is this intestine-like thing around it. We don't know what it is, and we light it with the, uh, so that it's damp and, and uh, shiny and scary. Mm -hmm. And then he gets up to here, and the lights come on. Martin turns the lights on, and we see all of these. Mm -hmm. He reacts, still not sure what it is, and, the, and then, uh, then I cut into the closer angle when the lights come on in the very foreground here at the end. Yeah. And he sees what they are. And then for the reverse, I just cheat him over against one way or the other. Huh? Mm -hmm. Or I can reverse right into here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Donovan's here, looking at Quentin, let's say here, 
facing that way, then I can come around this way and have more cocoons behind him. Right. Can that can it go upstage? Or is, it, is that what the color is? Move that a little bit to my right, camera, camera right. Which one? That, that last one on the left side. Jimmy. I'll tell you how, Jack, wait. Uh, where do we get some people in there? Can we see first team standing there? Yeah. yeah. Watch, this. Watch this. First team. Height in 185, and we see their feet. You got Denny's head height? In 185, you got it. Great. Can I? It's great. Okay. Let's go, or we have to sit here through another one. And uh, the thing's frozen on the clock there, so yeah. I love it when you wiggle it back and forth, David. Yes. Very good. I think the story, more than anything, is um, a human story. I mean, more than, than what everybody, more than what the trailers are saying and more than what the, uh, the promotions are think, saying. I think it's a, it's a story about, about people banding together and how kind of ridiculous world war and, and wars between nations seem when you're faced with something a lot bigger. And I think it's, it's a, and it shows people from all walks of life getting together and just looking at the unimportance of, um, of racial prejudice, of, of, of just fighting with each other when they, when, they see, when they see something that's a lot bigger than they are. <laughs> My character's wonderful. She's um, a med student. She does research um, in the biochemistry lab. Um, and uh, also does rotation. She's in her third year, so she does rotation at the hospital. And uh, what she wants more than anything is to be a doctor and maybe go into research. And all of a sudden, she's faced with something that puts her, pushes her into a position of getting this thing over with so she can go back to her work and go just go back to life as, it's, as it normally is. Um, she grew up as a conformist. She's a Republican. And she really doesn't want to have anything to do with this. Um, but it's all, it's all, it all happens so quickly that she doesn't have a chance to do any, to think about it. She just moves and does it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to bail out when they go through the gate. Be careful, Mark! Thanks on the trucks, Jimmy. When you see this gentleman through the window of this vehicle, he's way to the left of it, 30 feet. You, from, from Bill's shot, you're going to have to cut out of it too quick. Steve, jump off a little sooner then so that you got a shot at stopping and throw the bullet out cocktail. When is he going to run in? He's going to run in as the uh, resistance fighter jumps off and is about to throw it. Now go more to your left, Steve, so you're more lined up in. Yeah, a little more yeah, this way. So when he throws it, you can really duck back as the flames come at you, okay? I won't block him. The man getting off the truck, will uh, Boom! Fire and duck back through it? Yeah. So? Well, the jump off is not good. He's awfully little back there. He's, he's crouching so low. Rolling! It's really a, kind of an ensemble thing. I mean, all of the characters start out as, as separate entities and separate units. The families start out as just separate family units, and they all intertwine during the film because their lives are kind of shoved together and pushed together. People from all different walks of life. And I think Julie is kind of a catalyst because she is the one that, that when does, some, does things when nobody else will. 
they'll be standing around, sitting around a room, and somebody says, well, somebody should do that. And everybody says, yeah, well, somebody should do it. And she just says, well, all right, I'll do it. You know, and she, she was probably the one that did that in high school and did it, you know, always did it. Nice one, bud. No, I got out of breath, man. I was running. I'm all, you guys okay? I couldn't talk. <laughs> One thing I took the breath from it, you know. And I said, don't breathe. Well, I, I didn't take a breath just before I went down and I went, <laughs> I was running out of breath. But good. Nice. Nice. Ricky, what is a 75? About a little more, about a full figure from there, right? Two figures? That's okay. That's good. Let's get the lady coming off the truck with a Molotov cocktail. Okay, and pan her over this way, and then come back and grab what we can through the fire here, so that it's real, you know, compressed. The fire is killing me. It killed me for the people getting out of All the right, truck. Well, Inky, we'll bring the fire down just a touch, okay? So that I've got it, but not not blotting me out. Yeah, let's have let's have it burning as she's running across there, so we don't have to bother with lighting it, and, and then we'll gun from the other side as she as she uh, throws. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Girls coming out of the truck with a Molotov cocktail, right? right? Right. Now, if she is over to the camera right of that truck, I will see her. Otherwise, the frames are going to kill her coming. Okay. Out of the well, we'll have her coming down out of the I right side, and then we'll take her right across to the. Uh, blue, uh, All right. Blue. Watch. This. Where does she go? To? All right, the lady with the Molotov cocktail. You know, you see a lot of other uh, space stories, and it's all action-packed adventure, and very little, um, the actors have very little opportunity to do any good acting. And we've had some, some real nice opportunities here, and there have been some good performances from so many talented actors. Now, what about his height, his eye height? Because we were talking about this being higher, we were talking about this being higher than where uh, Donovan would be seen. Is this still eight feet yeah. perspective? We can drop it. So, well, no, I don't think we should drop it, so that we, because I think we ought to be higher okay. than he is. But I, I'd like not to do two mats. No, no, we shouldn't do two mats. But we shoot, we shoot. We just ignore one. the fact that it's above his eye height. Exactly. We shoot that off of his reaction when he first comes in. Yeah. Which will overlap off of the stage studio center. Right. Him right. coming through the door, cut to this. Cut to this. Okay. Walk him out of that and walk yeah. him into this. Exactly. And, 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 and we should take, we should take a beat here. Yeah. And let him turn back to us so we know who he is. Yeah, neat. Yeah. Is that about? Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. It's good. Did right. you see the sweatshirts? Can you flash it? Hey, it looks good. <laughs> That's all right. It's neat. We it's all get them, right? As a matter of fact, we do. Do we? <laughs> no. Right, Can I get uh, everybody to listen up? Is everybody here? A lot of us have worked together before, but nobody on this crew has worked any harder than they've ever worked on this one, I'll tell you. And, and um, I, wanted, uh, I wanted you all to have something to remember other than your overtime. And uh, so we have gotten these together for everybody. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh,